what is it guys, Hi once again, and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cooking a Kingdom. In this video, I want to go over one of the Caramel Arrow comps that are really, really, really popular inside of the arena right now. So, as you already know, uh, Ginger Brave comp is really, really popular as well. I mean, with the additional Kumio and her buff, you know, Ginger Brave comp has always been used inside of the arena, even though the original cheese slash uh, scam comp has, you know, been kind of outdated already however ginger brave you know is always going to come back and come back and come back and this is going to be one of the newer uh ginger brave comp that we have right now including caramel arrow as well as dark cacao and of course sea fairy so let me go over the toppings real quick so first of all let's go over ginger brave so ginger brave is going to have five solid almond of course the higher damage resist uh that he has he is going to be able to survive longer and also going to be able to push away the enemies um, you know, just focusing on damage resist is going to be the main key for Ginger Brave. Next one is going to be Kumio. So Kumio has 5 Swift Chocolate and that is going to allow you to have, you know, just focus on damage resist uh, because you only need to have 16.7% cooldown in order for Kumio to have a 3 second start. So because of the fact that Kumio is going to have 5 Swift Chocolate, that automatically allows her to have 20% with the set bonus. So you don't need to focus on anything other than uh, just having damage resist as well as having the second highest attack speed inside of the team because you need her to have the uh the enchanted robe uh buff for the attack speed in order to cast her spell a lot faster right so the cast animation is going to be faster with that buff next one is going to be dark account dark account is going to have five of the searing raspberry focusing on damage resist is going to be the main focus and extra attack as well as cooldown if you really want to all right and then next one is going to be Caramel Arrow. So Caramel Arrow is going to be our another key component of this build. And she does need to have the second highest or one of the set, uh, two of the highest attack speed. As well as damage resist and attack. Alright, so that's going to be most important for Caramel Arrow. And the next one is going to be Sea Fairy. Of course, if you do want to have Sea Fairy with more damage resist, it will be preferred. You don't really need to have cooldown too much. The more cooldown you have, it is going to help out. But the main focus here is going to be attack as well as damage resist. As of right now, I have majority of my damage resist uh, toppings on uh, these two right here. And then I'm lacking a little bit of gold if you guys already saw me trying to test out a lot of different builds. So here we go. I'm just going to be uh, using this team. The treasures real quick are going to be the scroll enchanted robe as well as the lollipop. Alright, so this team is really popular right now, guys. And let me show you guys exactly how strong it can be inside of the arena. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to be versing this team right here, a double tank, Eclair, as well as probably going to be a France Queenier, but I'll show you guys how strong this team can be against a team without T9. And here we go. So it is going to be a pure vanilla as well as a France Queen. And as you guys can see, even with the uh, Strawberry Crate buff, the damage here is insane, guys. I mean, the extra 20% defense debuff along with you know darker cows debuff and then using caramel arrow on top of that it's just so strong right now guys and i just have to say even though seafair is going to be doing a lot of damage here too if in case the you know battle does go a little bit longer than intended then caramel arrow is going to be you know pushing out a lot more dps because of the true damage all right guys and here we go we're going to be versing a another ginger brave comp here as you guys can see it is going to be ginger brave and akumio let's see how well we can do against a og one or one of the uh you know previous scam comps or ginger brave comps it's so very interesting that we don't really need to use almond anymore because of the fact that there are so many cookies that you know are able to attack you know just everybody in general so it really just works out uh well because you know we don't need to focus on almond to do all the damage right so there you guys go this time around it was sea fairy who you know did most of the damage because of the fact that kumio did charm each other like the you know both kumios charmed each other so i did get to use my sea fairy skill faster uh, than the you know the enemy so that's why we were able to win this one all right and here we go guys we're going to be versing a master three here and this is going to be the sorbet team right so cheese comp or you know a scam comp is very 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 strong against these teams so let me show you guys how well we can perform against this team 
And I just have to say, there are, you know, you can use different teams, you can use different toppings. Uh, Caramel Arrow ca actually can work with different uh, toppings as well. Um, so Caramel Arrow actually could use Swift Chocolate because at a certain um, cooldown, Caramel Arrow is actually able to have a 2 second start, which allows her to actually use her skill before everybody else. So if you are versing a, you know, a Kumio scam comp, then you can actually put fine with chocolate on Caramel Arrow to prevent her from being, you know, charmed. And she'll actually somersault backwards and use her skill before, she, you know, everybody else. So you can do that as well. But yeah, as you guys can see here, if you guys want to look, dealing a ton of damage here, guys. Kumio, you know, as well as Dark Cow, Caramel Arrow, and Seafair just doing over a million damage or everybody almost close to a million damage and being able to beat this team which is going to be a very good team against a t knight but you know for me this is going to be a better counter to this one all right guys and this time around we are going to be versing a i i don't know what this team is going to be it can be the ginger brave as well as kumio here but let's just see how uh how this works out so the only downside to this team, I would say, is that if you are versing a team with a higher sustain and a good damage resist, then there is a chance for you to lose because of the fact that you don't have any heals. However, if you're able to burst down the enemies quickly, especially their main damage dealer, then it is going to be a you know, very, very high chance of you actually winning. And I would say definitely 0% chance of winning against a T Knight comp. You should definitely not be going against T Knight if you're using this team, all right? So as you guys saw, I was kind of correct on this using a Ginger Brave and a Kumio on the pre other team. And as you saw, we were able to definitely just melt away uh, the enemies very, very quickly. All right, guys, here we go. One last battle before I end this uh, video. You guys can see right here, it is going to be the very old standard team, which is going to be a single tank, a Claire, Sea Fairy, Frost Queen, and a Cotton. So let's just see how well or how fast we can melt this team. And here we go. Ginger Brave, Kumio, Caramel, Seafair, and Dark Cow. And as you see, just all gone. Just all gone. It's just so good, guys. This team, I have to say, with Caramel Arrow, you know, just having that immunity as well as the knockback too. You guys got to realize there is the extra knockback. It just prevents the enemy cookies from, you know, even attacking your team. So there you guys go. Even though Seafair, I mean... Majority of the time, if you're able to burst down the enemies earlier on, it's going to be majority of the damage is going to be from Sea Fairy. But if that is not the case, like I said, Caramel Arrow is going to come up and will deal a lot more damage. All right, guys, then before I end the video, I just want to show you guys this uh, team going up against a T Knight comp. And why you should not be versing a T Knight comp with this build. And that is going to be because of the Insignia as well as the Wrath of the Commander. But here you guys go, just so that you guys can have a visual proof of why you should not be versing a Teen Icon. Of course, it's not going to be a 100% loss, but it's, I would say it's going to be like, you know, probably like a 90%. But wow, okay, so in this case, this is a very uh, interesting outcome because as you see, we were actually able to defeat their T Knight uh, faster than we defeated the Dark Cow. So if this was just a T Knight, then probably we would have lost because T Knight would have been the last one surviving and we'll just slash away. I don't know what the toppings were on this team, but let me just show you guys a m better example. I mean, but I guess this is a good example of you seeing Caramel Arrow just doing a ton of damage, all right? So this is not the outcome that I was expecting, but let me show you a better example against a more uh, fit uh, T Knight comp. All right, here we go, guys. This is gonna be a five-star T Knight here and a level eight insignia. So let's go and see how well we do. So I mean, of course, the pure damage is gonna work very similar to how Sorbet's uh, true damage works. So there is a chance of us being able to, you know, chip away at uh, T Knight's HP a lot faster, but majority of the time it's not gonna work out the way you really want it to. So, you know, it's gonna be T Knight really surviving. And as you guys can see, you know, T Knight is just chipping away at our an enemy, or I mean, our HP. So, you know, there you guys go. Even though it was very close, you can see that T Knight is going to be the last one surviving. And we'll have the Insignia buff as well as all four of the Wrath of the Commander. But a ton of damage being dealt by Caramel Arrow as well as Sea Fairy. 
But there you guys go, that is one of the newer uh, camera Aero comps that we have going on, especially along with the Ginger Brave and Kubio, which is never, I feel like it's never going to disappear. But, you know, there's just going to be new variations of it every single time. And I just have to say, if you guys are wondering if you guys should be pulling for Caramel Arrow or not, I highly recommend you guys do pull for Caramel Arrow, and she will be used in majority of the arena comps as of this meta, I would say. Alright, so if you guys are wondering if you guys should, definitely, definitely recommend you guys do pull for her. And I will be updating the tier list very soon uh, in the beginning of April so that we do have some more time of seeing how the tier list kind of shifts inside of the uh, arena as well as some of the world exploration uh, teams. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did find it helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Cooking Kingdom videos as well as live streams that I do on YouTube. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys all next time.